My name is Letty Allen. I am a biology instructor at Nash Community College and I am on the AVID committee. I attended the conference in Dallas this past summer. And in this conference, we uh, utilized and learned about some different AVID strategies for learning. Now, as an instructor, it is a challenge to be able to communicate with our students uh, and, and help them understand the curriculum that we have to present to them. And I especially think in this digital age, it's important that we utilize different strategies in order to communicate and help them understand the curriculum at a critical level. Now, from an, an instructor's point of view, it's not necessary to use all of the AVID strategies, just the ones that are pertinent to your curriculum. So, for example, since I'm a biology instructor, our students are, have to purchase a textbook, and it's a very large textbook. So, I'm presented with a challenge, how do I help my students understand the material that's in this very large textbook that's very intimidating for them to read. And that's not the fault of the publisher or author. The literature is actually very understandable. It's just that the book itself is very intimidating. So, I use one of the avid strategies called Jigsaw in my classroom. So, I'll, I'll assign this each student a different section for them to read. So they'll read it, they'll take brief, they'll take brief notes on the section and then they'll teach it to each other. They'll talk with each other in groups about what they read in the section. And as an instructor, I think most of us realize that the best way to learn the material is to teach it. So not only does that incorporate collaboration among the students, but it's a really great way for them to read, to understand their text, to be able to communicate with each other in this critical thinking kind of way. So Jigsaw is a really important strategy that I use in my classrooms. Another strategy that I use is minute paper. Now, uh, another aspect of biology is reading articles, peer-reviewed articles, and these are also extremely intimidating, especially when it doesn't pertain to their field of interest. So in this case, we use a strategy that called minute paper to where they take AVID strategies and they break them down. They break down the paper in different ways to where they can actually comprehend these bits of the paper of this peer-reviewed literature to where they can understand it, to where they can themselves write summaries about the paper. And that's very important in a science perspective because science is changing all the time. It's important that we keep up with the literature and it's important that our students understand this literature as well. In this digital age, students communicate with acronyms and emoticons and we want them to still be able to understand their literature as far as text and these peer-reviewed articles are concerned. So, we utilize, or I utilize in my classrooms, these different strategies so that they can communicate with each other and communicate with me, and that way they understand this material on a critical thinking level. The goal of AVID and using these strategies is retention, but also student success. And I think if we can incorporate at least some of these strategies in our classrooms, then will increase retention, but we'll also see a more successful student at Nash Community College.